Zero Accounting Software 2023 Budgeted Income Statement Export to Excel and Modify Part Number One. Get ready to become an accountant hero with Zero 2023. First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube Shopping Affiliate Program, but that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and used ourselves. Bayer Dynamic, not sure if I said that right, but this is the DT770 Pro 250 OHM Studio Reference Closed Back Headphones. I wear headphones basically every day for a large part of the day. They are important to me. Therefore, I've gone through many different kinds of headphones. I've had these for some time and they've worked quite well. They fit over my ears, but I'm still able to put my glasses on under the headphones. The headphones not pinching too tight on the glasses to give me a headache, which is nice. The quality of the padding is good and it has lasted for some time. I've had these for some time now and they haven't gotten all torn up on me or anything like that. I also like that I have a cord when I'm doing my recordings as opposed to a USB centered headphone because that frees up a USB port and I find the USB headphones to be less reliable. They come with an audio jack that looks like this, which is useful for me because that plugs into my audio interface. However, if you want to use the headphones for some other purpose, I believe it's fairly easy to get a converter to other types of audio jacks. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials. Here we are in our custom Zero homepage. Going into the company file, we set up in a prior presentation, get great guitars. We will duplicate some tabs to put reports in the way we do every time. Right clicking to duplicate the tab. We will right click again so that we can duplicate the tab again. Back to the tab to the middle, accounting drop down. We want to open up the balance sheet. This is a comparative balance sheet. If you don't have it, just open the normal balance sheet. Tabbing to the right, accounting drop down. We want the income statement. This is a comparative income statement. If you don't have it, open up the normal income statement. All right, so we're going to put together our budget. Now, remember the budget data input in the system of zero. If I go to the first tab is under the accounting drop down under the reports. And then it's in the manual budget, the budget manager. But this is just the data input to get the budget into the system so that we can run reports with it. What we would like to do is create the budget and typically a tool for doing that would be like just simply Excel or some other kind of a spreadsheet program. So normally what we would want to do is start with the past data and then uh, use that to then build upon and see what changes we're going to have as we make projections out into the future. Now you can dig into a whole lot of different kind of ideas and strategies for budgets. Do you need a monthly budget? Do you, how often should you change the budget? And so on and so forth. But the standard budget would be a year's budget, right? It's the end of the year. We make a budget for the, for the next year, possibly breaking it out by month so that we can then, uh, so that we can then make comparisons uh, on a month by month comparing actual versus budget, for example. So that's what we will do here. Now, we only have two months of data input, January and February in our system. So I'm going to kind of imagine that that was the two months of data input prior to January and February so that we can budget out like a whole year's budget. And then when we run the reports, we'll be able to run reports for budget versus actual for January and February, and then everything past February will be out into the future. So that's going to be our strategy. Now we could then start by exporting the income statement into Excel. But when you do that, you end up with all these subtotals and whatnot. And oftentimes it's easier to start with just a clean income statement that doesn't have the subtotals. So you could export it, clean it up, but you might just start with a trial balance 
which which is I think it's a little easier to clean up. So I'm going to right click on the tab up top, duplicate it again, and let's open up a trial balance report so that we can export that one instead. I'm going to go to the accounting drop down into our reports, type in trial balance so that we can find it. There's our trial balance. That's what we want. That's the one. You're the one trial balance. Don't let them get you too. Sorry, I got a movie lines in my head. Focus. Accounting date drop down. We want to make this as of February 28th. So February 2023, February 28th. Update it to run it. So this is what we have in here thus far. So that looks good. Scrolling back up, we're going to say, all right, let's do a, a little adjustment up top. I don't want to compare it to the prior year. So I'm going to say, don't do that no comparison so we don't have the prior year stuff so now we just have a straight up income st uh, a straight up trial balance all right let's export it so i'm going to say export to excel if you would and as long as you ask nicely zero uh, usually grants the request opening up down here because i'm in google chrome and so i'm going to pull that over into my folder on my folder over here so now we have it in here. There's our worksheet. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to rename it and I'm going to call it my budget budget report or just budget. Hopefully I spelled that right. Let's open it up and see if we can just refine this thing down to a, a format that we can create a budget from. So this is what it looks like. So I'm going to I'm going to scroll up. Uh, now, normally what I like to do is turn the grid line. Let's let's actually copy it first. I'm going to put my cursor on the tab down here, hold down control, left click and drag it to the right so that I have my OG trial balance, the original, and then the adjusted one over here. Then what I typically like to do is try to format the whole sheet so it has the same formatting. You can see if I'm over here, I'm at Arial 9. And if I'm over here, it did format the whole sheet at Arial 9. So it looks like it's standardized. This one is at 10, right? So I'm going to select this cell here and format paint it and then format the entire sheet using that formatting. Then I'm going to right click on the whole sheet, format it again. And I like to have the underlying formatting being currency, negative numbers bracketed, no dollar signs. And we possibly don't need the pennies. Uh, because it's a budget so I'll take the pennies off that might make it easier to see and there we have it so we have some rounding issues but that should be okay all right and then we don't really need so I'm just going to clean this stuff up so what I what I want from here is I just want the income statement basically I don't need any of this title stuff all I really need is from the income statement which starts at sales on down and I and I want to format it I'll adjust the formatting so it's income uh, minus the expenses. So let's go up top and say, I'm just going to put my cursor on, uh, on the trial balance, go from, this is row one and scroll down to all the way down to the account. I think it's fine to go to there, right click and just delete it. Boom, gone. And then I could delete all the way down to the sales because my last equity, I only want starting here down. So from 4,000 down. So I'm gonna put my cursor on uh, line 22. No, not 22, 21. And scroll up and just select that entire thing. Right click, delete it, get out of here. Delete that. I don't need the total down below, line 17. Putting my cursor on line 17. Right click, delete it. It's gone. You're gone, you're out of here. All right then. So then, what I'd like to do is make, I, I like to see the grid lines. I can't see the grid lines. So I'm going to go here. I thought I was just blind. My eyes are getting bad, but no, they turned off the grid lines. Don't do that. Sheet options. I want to view, uh, view the grid lines. So there we have it. All right, then let's go back to the home page over here and let's make these cells a little bit smaller. They don't need to be this wide. Why in the world are they that wide? It's ridiculous. So we'll select these two 
and bring these down a bit uh, to a reasonable size. This one, I could pull this one down a bit. And these, I could pull these down a bit. Clean this thing up. Let's clean this up. It's just, all right. So now we need all of the uh, expenses. I want to make these negative. So I just have the positive numbers minus the negative numbers, and I don't need subtotals. So I'm going to say all the negative numbers, I want to make them negative. There's an easy cheat method to do this. You could select them, right click, and copy them. I like to paste them over here to, to make sure I don't mess up with the, the cool method of doing this. Right click, paste special, and then I want to subtract. So I'm going to put a minus sign before it, if it'll basically flip the sign. Boom. And then I can copy those and put them right there. So now I've got my expenses as negatives and I could just pull these now over. I could do that by grabbing them and pulling them or I can right click and cut instead of copy and paste them. That's the same thing as dragging them essentially. I'll just drag this one. All right, and then I can, and then I can sum this up to be my net income, uh, net income. I'll just sum it up. This is our trusty sum formula, the most famous of all uh, Excel formulas, and for good reason. It's the bestest and the most useful. And so we honor the sum formula. One, three, two, four. Let's see if that ties out to what's on the income statement. Uh, one, three, two, four. It does. See, I didn't mess it up. We can double check it. And that's basically our starting point. So now this is our worksheet for like two months of data. What I'm gonna do in the future presentations is we'll add uh, months into the future and use this data as our starting point to make projections into the following months. And if this is two months worth of data, the easiest thing to do would be to divide it by two, right? And then say that would be what I estimate on a monthly basis going forward. But then we might make adjustments to say that we think sales are going to go up over time because we're going to improve because people are going to get to know us and they're going to they're going to really like us because we're we do good work and we're just like excellent so we think our revenue is going to go up over time and whatnot and so then we'll get into how we might be able to increase the revenue uh over time in our projections